welcome to today's vlog. I know you've seen the title. We are gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it today. We're definitely in need of like a cute little girly FaceTime catch up sesh. So we're gonna do that today. But first I need a shot of espresso because I've actually been very low energy today. I've like pumped myself back up now because I was gonna start this vlog. But I think a little extra boost couldn't hurt. A little shot of espresso. This is just a one shot. I love this cute little espresso cup. It's from a flea market in the south of France. Tasha has the matching one. We got the set of them. It's like our little friendship espresso cups. Also goes really cute with my PJs that I'm still in at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. <laughs> it's just one of those days. Perfect. Let's get dressed. I actually have no idea what I want to wear tonight. Not a clue. It's gonna be super chill, so it doesn't really matter, but you know. We like to look cute. Maybe this little yellow top. That's fun. With just like a pair of shorts. I also have this little yellow top. Big into yellow for the summer. What else? Ooh, I do have this orange tube top. That could be fun. I gotta make my bed, so please disregard the chaos that it currently is. I think I'm gonna try this top on to start and then I gotta get myself ready. I'm gonna clean my room a little bit. Kitchen's clean downstairs, which always feels the best. We're getting ourselves together here. We're doing it. Put on my denim skirt. I feel like this just looks weird and bulky, so I could tuck it, but I just don't know if I'm feeling this. I think it's gonna come down to the yellow tops or I could just go black shorts, black top. Cute, simple. I think I hear thunder. It's a gloomy day outside, like gloomy. I was really hoping for like a cute, warm summer night so we could sit outside and like put on the twinkly lights, drink some wine. Anyways, let me just try on some stuff. We got yellow top number one. I think it's so cute. Don't know if I wanna wear the skirt with it, but the top itself is adorable to the point where I don't even think I'm gonna try this one on because I like this one more. But I think I'm leaning towards putting jeans on with it instead of the skirt. I don't know. I think we'll circle back to the pant options, but let's, let's make my bed clean my room. better. Just took a quick shower. Probably not gonna wear what I was just trying on. <laughs> we're gonna figure it out later. But for now, we're gonna do some makeup, get ready. So Jill's actually in Toronto this week for work, which is crazy. The company that she works at, their main office is in Toronto, like they're a Toronto-based company. I've always believed in synchronicities and things like that. And Jill's life is just like evidence of it. Everything in her life has led her to this city, which is just wild. Obviously I met her in 2014, instant best friends. She met her fiance, he's from here. Ends up getting a job also based in Toronto, like it's just crazy. Anyway, so they flew her out here for work, which also works out well, because I get to see her. She gets to go and look at her wedding venue, because that's coming up. That fact right there is also just crazy to me. Like I can't believe I'm gonna be at her wedding. So exciting, it's gonna be so fun. But I got to see her a couple days ago. We went out for just drinks. We bounced around on patios. And while she was here, she also really wanted to meet my boyfriend. So that is happening tonight. I am introducing the best friend and the boyfriend, and I'm so excited. He's met a bunch of my other friends here, but obviously Jill lives in LA, so she hasn't gone to meet him. I also am aware of the fact that this is the first time I am calling him my boyfriend here. I don't know why I've been so weird around that word. I feel like I just don't want to be one of those girls that's like, oh, my boyfriend this, my boyfriend that. So I just like avoid the word boyfriend, but it's not like a new thing anymore. And I got to stop beating around the bush. <laughs> so we're going to talk about him a little bit today and my thoughts and meeting him and just all the things. It's honestly kind of crazy to talk about this with you guys. I feel like so many of you have been here for so many years, so many stages of my life, so many changes, so many different eras, different boyfriends, <laughs> crazy dating stories, and just, you know, a lot of you have been around for this whole journey. And so to talk about like a new boyfriend, feels just crazy. I've kept this kind of to myself for the most part, obviously, like I haven't been keeping him a secret, but like legitimately talking about it just feels like we're sitting down, we're gonna have like a little FaceTime chat and we're gonna talk about boys and obviously like so much fun to talk to your girlfriends about the guy that you're seeing and just, you know, all the girly things. So I'm definitely excited to talk to you guys about him and kind of give you the rundown, but it's just kind of crazy to me. I feel like I got really comfortable being single and going into this year. I just was over the apps. I was over, you know, just going on dates for the sake of dates. And I was really comfortable in that. I was like, I'm gonna have a kick-ass year. I'm gonna work my ass off, hang out with friends, just like live in the moment, enjoy where I'm at in life right now. And then I feel like he came out of nowhere, which is so annoying because they all say that. I feel like everyone always says to the single girls like, oh, it'll happen when you least expect it, which is the most annoying thing to hear ever because like, 
if you're single and like you want to be in a relationship one day, you're kind of always expecting it. You never really stop expecting it, but I kind of had just like, I was like, whatever. And then there he was. Anyways, I'll talk about the whole story when I'm done with my makeup, but I'm really excited to talk to you guys about it today. Jill is gonna come here after work. She's in the office today, which is crazy. She's like in the office in downtown Toronto. She's gonna come here right after work around 5.36. And I'm actually gonna try on my dress for her wedding for her. She wants to see it all while she's here. And obviously I want her approval as she is the one getting married. So my opinion is just, you know, just doesn't matter as much. So she has two bridesmaids. I'm the maid of honor. And then she has her something blue, who's Kelly. So Kelly's wearing a blue dress and she told me I could either wear a pink dress or a yellow dress. And considering she's having a kind of later summer wedding, I thought yellow would be really fun. Also, I was in my friend Leandra's wedding last year and she had us wear pink. So I got a dress in, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it looks really Really nice but obviously I want Jill to approve and like the dress so I'm gonna try that on for her when she gets here and then he's gonna come over after work he has to go home first and then he's gonna come over here probably around seven eight ish and it's just gonna be the three of us hanging out it's gonna be super chill we're gonna have wine order in yummy food and just like just chill vibes it's a weekday it's gonna be really fun a little shimmer on the lids Cute. I love this stuff. This uh, eye tint from Armani. It's like a little shimmery eye cream and I love it. Okay, eyebrows. Doop, 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 doop. Lastly, we're just gonna put on mascara. Okay, all right. Makeup's done. I'm still hoping the sun comes out because I would love a nice evening outside. So I'm gonna dress accordingly for that. Or manifesting it. It's looking kind of wet out there. <laughs> so I don't have the highest of hopes. I put on jeans and a very simple bodysuit. It might change again. TBD, I got time, but I just felt like, you know, throw on clothes. It would be appropriate for what it's looking like outside and it, it keeps raining every five minutes. So it is what it is. But I figured we would sit down for our little chat. I feel like throughout the years, I've always just like sat down on the ground and chatted with you guys about things in my life. And uh, this one's kind of fun. So I'll give you like a little long story short. So at the beginning of the year, I was going through Instagram stories one morning. It was like first thing, opened my eyes. I was just scrolling through. And my friend had posted this story with this guy and I was just like, immediately stopped in my story swiping, which is so random because I feel like, you know, I do that all the time and I don't think anything when I see guys in people's Instagram stories, like literally ever. But I looked at him and I was like, I need to know this guy. <laughs> like, I think he's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. So I ended up asking her, I was like, is that guy single? Like, I need to know. Which is honestly pretty out of character for me. I've never done that ever in my life. And she was like, yeah, he's single and he's the best guy ever. So then I was like, okay, you know what? I have literally nothing to lose. YOLO, why not just like, slide in. I sent him a follow request, which I was like really embarrassed to do, honestly. Like, I've never in my life done that. Never ever messaged a guy that I've seen on Instagram. He followed me back and then he sent me a message and then we ended up going on a date. I didn't think that the first date went that well, but then he <laughs> asked me out again and we went on the second date and then I was like, oh, I like him. And then obviously we kept going on dates and now here we are, middle of the year. Like it's just, here I am, full ass relationship. Are you seeing this? The sun is coming out. Maybe it'll all work out. <laughs> I really didn't want to rush into talking about him with you guys. I wanted to like, you know, enjoy it for myself, kind of see how things progressed over months. And I feel like dating in your late 20s is a whole different world. Like my most recent ex, I had known for 10 years and he was a friend and it was just like a really, it was a really different experience dating him and getting into a relationship with him. And then before that I was 21 and I was looking for very different things that I look for now at 29. So this has been, super different and I've really, I've just been having a really good time with him and I feel pretty lucky honestly to have found him. I just think he's such a good person. I'm excited for the things that we have planned coming up over the next few months. Just excited for all of it. It's just kind of crazy. Kind of crazy to sit here and talk to you guys about it because I didn't know when I was going to and how I was going to. And obviously people ask all the time about if I'm going to share a relationship. And I've talked about this for a long time. Like I've talked about this since my last relationship that I didn't think I would ever share another relationship publicly for many reasons. I've done it, I've lived it, I've learned it. And I just don't, I don't see the value in sharing. And every time I talk about this, everyone's super supportive and understanding of why I don't want to share this relationship, which I really appreciate because I never want to like let anyone down or disappoint people but I think sharing things that are so private and intimate like a relationship that involves somebody else also I just don't think should be shared I mean to each their own everyone has different opinions everyone has different purposes for what they want to do on the internet and I just don't think that he needs to be shared here he also has nothing to do with social media at all and I just wouldn't want to 
throw him into this. I just don't think it adds anything. But I'm also not like trying to hide him if there's pictures on Instagram. I just want the vlogs to be for us, for the girls. I'm not gonna be that girl that's like every other sentence about my boyfriend. This is like our space. We don't need boys here. Obviously, I do spend a lot of time with him. So little meals, yeah, I like to share because they look good, they taste good. And it's really hard to pretend that somebody isn't there if they're there. But yeah, this is for us. This is for the girls, the girls, the gays, and the boyfriends and the husbands <laughs> and whoever else wants to watch. I don't, whatever. But that's my two cents. That's all my stuff. Thanks for all of your support. So many people have obviously caught on. I've mentioned things in vlogs and you guys are so sweet and it's really nice to see all the positive comments and I really, really appreciate it. We've been through a lot. You've seen me go through a lot of life, a lot of different things. So I just appreciate you guys for being here through all of it. And the sun is really coming out. Are you seeing this? I'm seeing it. There's potential. There is potential. It is 4.40 now. Jill's gonna be here in like an hour and a bit, hour and a half. I'm gonna clean the office upstairs, but I have a couple emails to respond to. My office is pretty messy. I have been working up there recently and I've just like let it be what it is and it's not, it's not right. So I'm gonna tidy that up a little bit and uh, get ready for tonight. Just kidding. We didn't clean the office. It's now 6.30. Jill's gonna be here any moment. And I don't know if you can tell, but the sun is full on shining. The sky's pretty much totally blue as well. There's like some scattered clouds, but like it really cleared up. Like for sure we can sit outside. I thought there was no hope, no the jeans, but hope has come back. So pretty stoked about that. Oh my God, this scared me. Hello, hello, hello. There was a little bunny was right outside your door. Oh, that's a little bunny. So cute. Hello vlog. Welcome back, <laughs> Julian. Thank you. Yeah. Vlog the Bachelorette, so like. I know, so they haven't seen me in a while. Yeah. I'm sure you guys missed me. <laughs> this is a big day. I know the biggest day. I'm okay. so excited. I can't believe this is gonna happen. I know. <laughs> Finally. I know. Okay, we're gonna do some stuff. evening runs. I usually run in the morning. I feel like it's a good way to start the day. And I plan on running this morning, but then I was like, okay, I have too much work to do. Like, let me just grind away and then I'll run this evening. It's such a beautiful sunny evening that I might be converted into an evening run kind of girl. Like, I actually think it's a million times better for a lot of reasons. I just did four kilometers and it was so nice to get out there. I feel like everyone was back from work, taking their dogs on walks, going for their runs, and it felt so fulfilling. You know, I was inside all day working and then I feel like getting out there and going for my run was like, that was a really good day. Day well spent. And then getting to actually go out there and like get some sun on my skin, get a little sweat in after being so productive all day felt like so rewarding. Like this was my little treat. That was awesome. I loved that. I think this is the new thing, you know? Soak up the last bit of the sun. I like sitting outside of my backyard and painting, but there's no direct sun in my backyard in the evenings. So it's more like relaxed versus like feeling the sun on my skin. That was wonderful. Now I'm gonna go paint outside. It's a feel good evening over here. I also obviously have to update you on Tuesday night and how that went. Obviously it went great. Like I didn't have any doubts. Jill's super chill, he's super chill, but it was so fun. Like Jill was here until after 11 and we were just sitting outside, which cleared up for us. I was so happy. They were getting to know each other and we were just like all sharing stories and it was super, super cute, super fun. Jill and Connor are gonna be back at the end of July. So I'm sure we'll do something, the four of us. Good vibes, so fun. He's, he's a really good one. So I hope to keep him. <laughs> I'm gonna close up some work stuff and then we're gonna go outside and paint the sketch that I sketched out on Monday, a few days ago. done it again. It's now nine o'clock. I have to go inside and make dinner. I am not even close to being done with this, which is kind of surprising. Usually everything I've done is like I've done in one go, but this has taken me kind of a while, but I'm really enjoying it. Like I think it's going to turn out pretty well. I'm kind of excited. Sorry about my air conditioning, by the way. No, it kind of sounds ugly. That's why I have music. We're going to have to circle back. Shit. 
time. I think tonight we're gonna have leftovers from Tuesday night. I have a little bit left because we had leftovers for lunch the following day and there's still leftovers left. So I think that's what I'm gonna have to have. The last of the Gusto pasta. We were from Gusto on Tuesday because it's one of Jill's favorite spots or at least the pasta, the mushroom pasta there is one of her favorites. So we left the food toys up to her since you know she's not here for that long. So I have a little bit of mushroom pasta left in the fridge. Take a look oh, at that. Absolutely stunning. This is delish. I'm just gonna eat it right out of here, honestly. I see no need to dirty up a plate when this works just fine. I think I might make a salad on the side too. Get some greens in. We got romaine. I'm gonna throw in a handful of spinach. Oh, that smells so good. Immediately smells insane. I got some greens. I'm gonna throw some dressing on there, maybe even just oil and salt and pepper. And we're bringing it down to the couch. I'm gonna watch a little show. It's 9.15. I will see you upstairs. Officially the best time of the day. I'm clean, I'm cozy, I'm 40% into my book. The Housemaid is watching third in the series. I'm flying through this. It feels so good to like fly through a book again because I feel like I've been in the Actar world just like deeply for months. So it feels fun to read new stories. I'm gonna dive into this for the rest of the night and I'm going to end the vlog here. This one feels kind of vulnerable to share, but I hope you enjoyed a little bit of insight into what's been going on in my life this year. I know most of you are super understanding with all of this, so thank you so much. But yeah, that's what's going on. I love you so much. Thank you for watching the vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye.